Thank you very much, dear Wolfgang Kirsch. Ladies and gentlemen, dear shareholders, a very warm welcome to the Fresenius Annual General Meeting 2023, also from my side. I'm looking forward to reflecting with you on the past year. At the same time, I would like to look ahead and give you an impression of what Fresenius in its core is all about. Fresenius occupies a key position at the heart of health care. We are there for our patients when it matters most. We save lives. We improve the quality of life. We bring new life into the world. These are key moments, moments that are about quality, about safety, about trust, about being in the best hands. If I had to sum up what we do in just one sentence, I would say what matters for us is doing the right thing at critical moments. And that's exactly what the Fresenius team does every day in intensive care, in emergency rooms, in the regular wards, with highly specialized drugs and medication, clinical nutrition, infusion therapy, in cell and gene therapy, and dialysis. Doing the right thing also means taking responsibility, taking bold decisions, enabling change, and improving Fresenius for our patients, for our employees, for you, our shareholders. We have worked hard in recent months. We have set fundamental things in motion. Today, Fresenius has a clear focus and a clear strategic direction. That is important. This is the only way we continue to create real value. An eventful year is behind us. Following the COVID pandemic, we had all hoped for calmer times. But unfortunately, reality is different. War in Ukraine, geopolitical tensions, trade policy differences, high energy prices, inflation. All of these have had an impact on our business. In 2022, we generated a sales growth of 4% currency adjusted to more than 40 billion euros. The reason is a solid fourth quarter. Fresenius Carby also picked up speed in the fourth quarter. This was encouraging after a somewhat weaker first half. Biopharma, medtech and clinical nutrition contributed to this. Biopharma grew particularly dynamically in 2022. In medtech, we made gains in the fourth quarter as well. This is because the plasma and cell therapy business developed positively. Moving on to Helios, our hospital group here too, sales developed very encouragingly. In Spain, there were four quarters of robust revenues. In Germany, the first half of the year was strongly influenced by COVID. In the second half of the year, however, occupancy rates in the hospitals improved. In the fourth quarter, it was above the previous year's level. The situation at Fresenius Medical Care and Fresenius Vomit was less positive. Both businesses grew by only 2% in constant currency in 2022. At Fresenius Vomit, this was mainly because of the hospital construction and planning business. Fresenius Medical Care had to contend with inflation and labor shortages. Another important and very tragic aspect was that significantly more dialysis patients died during the COVID pandemic than the years before. We are not satisfied with the group result. It fell 
by 29% year-on-year in constant currency to just under 1.4 billion euros. Earnings per share decreased to 2 euros 44. The difficult macroeconomic conditions played a role here, no doubt. But it would be too easy to blame everything on this. Fresenius fell short of its potential in 2022. Well, repressed reset in October and initiated a completely new start. To do this, we took a close look at the entire company. We talked intensively with everyone involved. In February, we then presented our new future Fresenius strategy. I would like to reiterate three key points of that strategy. First, we are focusing on the operating companies Fresenius Carby and Fresenius Helios. Both companies cover system-relevant areas of the healthcare system. They are globally active in the service of patients and they have attractive market positions. More on this later. Secondly, we manage our investments in Fresenius Medical Care and Varmid as investment companies. At Fresenius Medical Care, we plan to change the legal form and entity. The company will become a stock corporation AG. Fresenius Medical Care will then be deconsolidated. The new simplified group structure will make Fresenius more transparent. Decision-making is concentrated on fewer bodies and accelerated. In the future, both companies will be able to focus fully on their business. We are making good progress here. An extraordinary general meeting of Fresenius Medical Care will pass a resolution on the change of the legal form on July 14th. We aim to complete this process by the end of the year. Fresenius SE will retain a significant stake of 32%. Fresenius will lose complexity, but none of its substance. Fresenius Medical Care's management will have more freedom in the future, but it also bears the responsibility for getting the company back on track for success. Third, we have defined a new, transparent and tight financial framework. It expresses our financial ambitions with a clear focus on returns. For you, our shareholders, we want to make our dividend policy attractive and predictable. This means we link it to growth in earnings per share, currency adjusted, or at least maintain the level of the previous year. Today we are proposing to leave the dividend for 2022 at 92 cents per share, despite our weaker earnings. Ladies and gentlemen, the measures I mentioned will not bear fruit overnight. It will continue to be a matter of doing the right thing sticking to the cause we have initiated. But the figures for the first quarter confirm that we are heading in the right direction. Overall, we started promisingly into the new year. We are seeing good growth momentum across the group, with sales up 5%. Carby and Helios delivered a strong first quarter. Carby reported strong organic sales growth at the upper end of our target corridor. The EBIT margin was already in the target range. Helios also showed a healthy organic revenue growth. This is due, on the one hand, to the clinics in Spain. On the other hand, it is because of declining COVID case numbers in Germany. Helios EBIT margin was also within the target range. At Fresenius Medical Care, there are positive signals. In the US, we are treating more patients again. The labor market for skilled workers is stabilizing. At Fresenius Varmet, 
there is still a lot to do, more than originally expected. We have initiated very clear measures. All this is more important because the economic situation is not likely to improve this year. Personnel costs as well as material and energy costs are expected to continue rising. The same applies to the interest burden. We anticipate a refinancing requirement of around 3 billion euros by 2024. What does this mean for the outlook of the current fiscal year? At group level, we expect revenue growth in the low to mid-single-digit percentage range. Excluding Fresenius Medical Care, our EBIT is expected to remain roughly stable, currency adjusted, or to decline by a maximum of a mid-single-digit percentage, always assuming that geopolitical tensions do not escalate further. Ladies and gentlemen, in recent months we have already achieved a great deal. In everything we do, the patients are at the centre. This is inconceivable without the daily commitment of our employees. My thanks go to all my colleagues at Fresenius. They have worked hard. They have stayed the cause despite all the challenges and changes. Let me give you a few examples that have impressed me particularly. One of them is the quick support we provided to the people in Ukraine. We continued to care for dialysis patients on site, treated war casualties, delivered medicine and medical equipment. Our teams also did an extraordinary job during the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. And finally, a special thanks to our nursing staff for their tireless efforts during the COVID pandemic. In critical moments, it is important to do the right thing. Fresenius' team provided that and made a big difference. Our employees can be proud of that. The cause for future Fresenius, for the future of our company, has now been set. The task now is to continuously develop the portfolio and open new growth areas. The focus is on our two operating companies, Fresenius Kabi and Fresenius Helios. Both businesses are focused on therapies. Therapies account for up to 80% of a patient's journey through the healthcare system. They have the strongest influence on maintaining and improving patients' lives. Helios and Carby are both active in attractive growth markets. Both already hold leading positions today. They cover the three key growth platforms in the therapy sector. Biopharma, MedTech and Care Provision. In both, we help our patients in critical situations, inpatient as well as outpatient. That makes us unique. No other companies does this the way we do it. Let me give you a few examples at Helios and Carby. Fresenius Helios is Europe's leading private hospital operator. Helios' emergency outpatient departments, medical care centers and clinics are the first port of call for hundreds of thousands of patients, day after day, day and night, around the clock. We will systematically expand our strong position in this area. In Germany, we are focusing our portfolio on cross-sector health care. This means connecting different disciplines. Cooperation between inpatient and outpatient health care. Further specialization of hospitals and better regional coordination of their range of services. A good example of this is our heart center in the city of Leipzig. It is one of the largest specialist hospitals for heart diseases in Europe. 
Here, you can already see what the future of medicine looks like. Another example is in Spain, in Madrid. We operate a modern proton therapy center for treating cancer patients. It enables tumors to be treated much more precisely and thus more gen much more gently than with conventional radiation therapy. Digitization is also an exciting field. Think of the enormous opportunities offered by, offered by telemedicine. The aim is to be able to transmit and interpret health data more quickly in the future. Our TeleWare project shows what digitization looks like in everyday life in a real-life example. The idea is that your smartwatch delivers health data directly to the cardiologist in the clinic and they can evaluate it on the spot. We hope to empower routine care for cardiovascular diseases largely provided virtually in the future. This will not only save costs, above all it will significantly improve patients quality of life. Another pilot project, in the truest sense of the word, is currently underway in Baden-Württemberg. There, for the first time in Europe, drones are in regular use in medical logistics. Starting in August, they will transport samples between two of our hospitals. This is faster, more reliable and more environmentally friendly than road transport. We are also improving the utilization of our laboratories. Other routes in Germany are to follow. No matter where people receive outpatient or inpatient care, drugs, nutritional products and medical technology from Fresenius Carby are part of it. More and more medical products are needed all over the world. They must be of the highest quality but they have to be affordable also. Biologics have ushered in a new era. That means drugs that are produced biologically from living cells. They open up completely new opportunities for treating serious diseases. Cancer, for example, autoimmune diseases such as rheumatism or diseases like Crohn's disease. The reason these drugs act very precisely in the body, fighting against tumors, against inflammations. As a result, they enable very effective treatments. Biosimilars or follow-on products make these highly complex therapies more affordable and thus accessible to more people. Carby already offers the most and the first products in this area. Others will follow. In cell and gene therapy, we are already working closely with research institutions and biopharmaceutical companies. Fresenius Carby has a great deal of experience in removing human cells for therapies, preparing them and reintroducing them, for example, with our medical devices. Finally, clinical nutrition is indispensable for critically and chronically ill patients. We see great potential here, especially in growth markets such as Latin America and Africa. Let me turn to a topic that we hear a lot about at the moment. Artificial intelligence, it will change hospital processes. It will make diagnosis easier, speed up the exchange of information and give more perfection to data analysis. At Fresenius, we will use AI whenever it creates value for our patients. All of these topics are the result of hard work. And it's done by the people in our company. Our success stands and falls with qualified and motivated employees. We will continue to need the best talent in the future, in all areas, especially, of course, in the medical and technical professions. Fresenius is the best place for motivated people to make a difference and to do the right thing for patients at critical moments. 
And that's what drives more than 300,000 colleagues around the globe. And Fresenius is driven by their ideas, by their drive, by the diversity of the people who work for us. We value this diversity and we encourage this diversity. I am firmly com convinced that different backgrounds, experiences, perspectives and opinions move us forward. They make us successful. And there is something else we will take into account much more in the future. Health needs sustainability. We have set ourselves a clear climate target. The entire group is to operate on a climate neutral basis by 2040. Helios Germany is starting on the consumption side. We want to use 20% less energy in our clinics as early as this year. Another example. A project is underway in Germany to recycle anesthetic gases. Anesthetic gases have a far greater impact on the climate than is generally thought. They cause up to 35% of a hospital's emission. For example, the emissions from a seven-hour operation with anesthetic gas are equivalent to a car trip of 8,000 kilometers. With modern filter systems, up to 90% can be recycled and reused. Following a pilot phase, we will now install this system in 19 additional hospitals. This will save 1,100 metric tons of CO2 per year. That is equivalent to the amount emitted by a mid-sized car driving 100 times around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a company that does not have to search for its purpose. We work every day to improve people's health. Advancing patient care, that is our mission. But as I said, we had not yet fully exploited our potential. That's why we set out a new path for Fresenius and did the right thing at a critical moment for the company. And we will continue to do so. Fresenius has a clear direction. We are working on the future of medicine. As always at Fresenius, our focus is on our patients. We have initiated important changes and we will continue along this path. I assure you, we as the management board team are fully committed to the success of our company, your company. In doing so, we count on your trust and your support. Thank you very much for your attention.